Welcome back. According to a new poll, one in three Americans are more likely to talk about their worries with the person who cuts their hair over a professional therapist. And women are more likely to open up than men. Now barbers in the Del Rey Salon are doing their part to help more men open up. And here to talk to us more about cuts, the conversation, is Dr. Brian Coleman from the T. Lee Roy Jefferson Medical Society and also Lisa McMiller. She's the founder of Golden Parent. Thank you so much, both of you, for being here with us today. Lisa, we're going to start with you. Tell us more about cuts, the conversation. Custom Conversation is a safe space um, where we bring pe people of color from the community to talk about different issues that are going on um, with them and um, basically allow them to know that it is a safe space. And we bring a licensed therapist in to, you know, spearhead the conversation. And to kind of just raise awareness, right? Yes, and, and to raise also awareness. take away that, that stigma of, yes. of, you know, ta not talking about mental health, yes. would you say? Yes, absolutely. All right. Dr. Coleman, why is it so hard? And you were telling me, particularly uh, people of color, to trust doctors. Why is that? Well, I think it inherently starts back. Well, let's talk globally. So I think there's a problem with opening up about any health issues. And our, our community, the black community in general, is more reactive instead of proactive when it comes to their health care overall. Then if you can get them to face some of those issues that aren't internalized and buried, they tend to go into a denial space, not want to really talk about it. And particularly when it comes to mental health and black males, which is a whole nother subgroup of issue, uh, we have been portrayed so long as, uh, you know, persons of strength. Our gender is, you know, focused on the physical. So the mental and emotional aspects that sometimes are even more significant than their physical health get buried and it's viewed as a sign of weakness to acknowledge that I may have mental issues and disturbances. And you know, we talk a lot about mental health here um, at WPBF on our, on our newscast and here at nine o'clock, we've had doctors on before too. And I always like to point out, you know, if you twist your ankle or something like that happens to you, you're going to go see a doctor. You might even get medication for it. So mental health shouldn't be any different. Amazingly, you're right, I'm an orthopedic surgeon, and uh, physical pain is a guide to people will leap in to see a physician if it impedes or changes their ability to function on a day-to-day -day basis. But mental and emotional health issues are not viewed as being perceived by their community at large, and so they, they opt to not address that because of the stigma or potential label that they will be uh, bestowed in the community. Lisa, there's an upcoming event. Um, go ahead and tell us about it. Yes, we have Cuts and Conversation every last Thursday of the month. Um, this Thursday, we will have a team of doctors in every field to address the stigma around um, the mental health and uh, mental wellness with our African-American males. And you can we will be located at 135 Northwest Fifth Avenue, Delray Beach, Florida. All right. Did I miss anything that you guys want to add before we wrap up? Um, I, I would like to say that I get my hair cut there <laughs> and uh, that I think that these, these vehicles that she's created will help give a, you know, us an option to address these issues because she's creating more of a comfort level and a safe space as opposed to going to a physician's office. She's keeping it right in the community yes. and that tends to be more of a comfort level for individuals. Yes. Dr. Coleman, Lisa, thank you so much for coming in and having this important conversation with us. We put more information on the event 